In this lesson, I want to explain how to uh, import a simple video and video tracking. You come here and image, you navigate on your PC and you can insert your video MP4. Okay, as you can see, I imported my video and you can select that layer and you can scale it down to match the screen size. Something like this is nice. And I want to add a tracker, for example, to track to identify this or this. And the track will be maintained at points because it's read from other. And as you can see, uh, we saw you in movies, it's creating plus or um, identifier in, in their movies. And the tracker software will be identified them and you can put something on it. So. For doing that, I inserted 3D objects here. I inserted 3D objects. Uh, as you can see, it's a 3D object. If you want to uh, rotate a tree object, you can use this to rotate layer X and Y. You can simply rotate your, uh, and then you can small it. And I want to, it's maintaining this position. If you play that, look at this. As you can see, it's maintaining this position and our uh, video are rotating. And I want to, this money will be maintained here. So come back and we suddenly accidentally create a keyframe for that money. I, I just want to maintain there. Nice. <clears throat> so if you double click there in its settings, you can go to the image. As you can see, the movie per, per frame is this. Yeah, you can make it loop and loop. You, If you want to, you can make it backward. Frame per second. Okay, it's nice. And we... If you click on a movie, the tools are different. You can crop your image. As you can see, you can crop it any size that you want. And another tool here is a video tracking. If you click, for example, here, it's add a tracker. And if you play it, it automatically has to be defined that point, but it does not. I think that's a I make it in zero one and then just play. As you can see, it tries to track and maintain going to the frame one. Oh, as you can see, it's missed there. Okay. As you can see, it uh, cannot track after that, but it's trying to track it there to maintain that area in the red area. Oh, here is missed and you can click and drag this area to make it uh, bigger. Oh, not another one. You can click and drag it, bring it there. As you can see, trying to maintain itself on that area. You can make it a bigger to identify it better. We can manually animated there oh as you can see it's meets you can click and drag it there or you can click and drag with this area or multi tracker that you want be careful about it. make the radius bigger to identify this red dot better as you can see trying to identify but it jumping jumping it's not very good but i want to explain it you can manually animate it with click and drag oh it's missed can animate it and that's it you can go to the end alt right click and this is our track and then uh, it's as you can see it try to uh, maintain you can going frame by frame it try to maintain in that area without jumping that and then we can uh, fix it manually and then we uh, attach this tracker that is trying to maintain in this area to the that object that's one okay as you can see we are missing there 
you can come back and frame by frame correct it if you want it's not very good software for tracking but it's there okay then uh, this is the ob object that we want to uh, connect to the tracker we can double click no no for uh, tracking that select that going to animation and we want to track that layer to the video it tells you okay this is your video mp4 and you want to track it to the track point number one that it's there and hit okay as you can see it's jump there and then you can play as you can see that money trying to maintain and attach to the tracker and uh, it looks like that our money are in that screen this is a tracker tracking basis you can do that everything is depend on the power of your tracker system that you can do it manually or and that's it it's very simple i don't prefer doing the tracker with this software but it's there if you import a video we have a uh, video tracking tool that I want to explain and this tool rotating layer X and Y if you want if you have a 2d uh, scene like this and you want to rotate your 3d object that is in OBJ you can rotate it with this this is a 3d rotation of a whole scene okay that's it hello my friends to continue these tutorials on YouTube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release